five seconds i am now an old kind i have been in circulation many many years i have become almost worn out the lion's head on my face is very faint and the lettering on my back is nearly rubbed out with the years of hard work i have done but i can still remember my early youth if you had seen me then when i was in the government treasury with my bright friends soon after we had been issued from the mint you would not have recognized me as the same coin i was shining silver at that time the lion's head and all the lettering were so beautiful and clear i was very proud of my neat appearance my active life began when i was paid over the counter of a bank along with other new rupees to a gentleman who cashed a check i went off ringing in his pocket but i was not there long because he gave me to a shopkeeper the shopkeeper looked pleased when he held me in his hand and said that he had not seen a new rupee coin for some time i was struck against his shop counter as he wanted to check up whether i was genuine i gave out such a clear ringing noise that he picked me up and threw me into the cash drawer a lot of other coins were already there i soon found we were a mixed company i took no notice of the copper coins as i knew they were of very low caste i was proud to be among the small change because i was twice as valuable as a 50 paise coin and a 100 times better than the 1 paise piece i also found a number of rupees of my own rank but none so new and bright as i was most of them were old and dull coins as i am today some of them were jealous of my smart appearance and made nasty remarks but one very old rupee was kind to me and gave me good advice he told me that i must respect old rupees and always keep the small change in their proper place a rupee is always a rupee however old and worn our conversation was stopped by the opening of the drawer and i was given in change to a young lady who put me in her purse but the purse had a hole and i fell out as she walked along the road and rolled into the gutter where i was lost and long time afterwards a very poor and dirty boy picked me up and for some time after that i was in very low company passing between poor people and small shopkeepers in unclean little streets at last i got into good society and most of my time i have been in pockets and purses of the rich one of the rich ladies preserved me in her cash box i was hoping to get some rest there but soon she used my services when she had no small change to pay for her purchases for vegetable hawker and when she did not like to part with a 10 rupee note in a way i was sorry that i was being deprived of the long desired rest but the fact that i was helping her in her need gave me more pleasure i was once again a free bird this freedom did not however last long the hawker gave me out in that evening in settlement of her debt to someone who seemed to be very harsh he was not pleased to bear my weight in his pocket he tossed me over and over and had to accept me ultimately as he had no other go as soon as i reached his house i was given out to his child who kept me locked up 
in a beautiful plastic container which was almost empty when i got into for a whole month i was lying there idle but in the meantime several other coins of different denominations began to be thrown on me the weight over me was quite unbearable i needed light and fresh air most at last relief came to me i was taken to a bank where i was unloaded by the cash keeper since i was the only one of my kind he soon sorted me from the remaining ones i was happy to be away from the inferior company i have no time to tell about my adventures i have lived an active life and never rested long anywhere i am glad of this for i should not have liked the fate of a rupee who was born the same year as i did and who has been all his life locked up in the strong box of a miser what a dull life he must have had i shall narrate my experiences more if we meet next measures cotton wool and company limited drapers fort bombay dear sirs we have great pleasure in introducing ourselves as the sole selling agents of the delhi cotton mills limited at hyderabad and as the principal suppliers to the government of andhra pradesh through their approved list of co- contractors for supplying their indents in curtain cloth linen sheets table cloth livery for peons etc established as long back as in the year 1940 we have had the proud privilege of being the regular source of supply to the local government right from the days of the nizam's government we are at present interested in establishing contacts with your company in the matter of securing wholesale dealership as far as your woolen goods are concerned our main line of business on the side of woolen articles is confined to blankets and pure woolen blue black cloth for overcoats while the blankets are particularly consumed by the police department of the government here the cloth mint for overcoats is generally required for the use of the winter livery of the class 4 employees of our state government we are sure that you are in a position by now to assess the volume of turnover which you could easily expect from our end coming to our specific requirements per annum we can safely estimate them to be at 10000 meters of woolen overcoat cloth and 20000 pieces of superior quality of woolen blankets in the circumstances we shall be obliged if you could send per return of post your catalog of the goods mentioned above together with the samples and price list thereof the time for calling of the tenders by government is drawing closer and as such we are eager to see that a deal is struck with one of the companies of your repute as early as possible the terms of our payment being fairly cash on delivery we expect highly competitive rates from you we will be pleased to furnish you any more particulars which you may desire we need hardly assure you of our best attention and cooperation always yours faithfully